let's get going. Or y'all want to say hello first? Okay, y'all, thank you so much for chatting with me in the box. Um, tell me where you're coming from. Tell me where you are tonight. And also, if you want to, over there in that chat box, go ahead and if you have any questions, I'll see if I can get to them at the end if we have time for questions, answers. If not, it may be what I can do the next webinar on. And if you have any comments, if I say something you don't understand, say, whoa, 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 wait, what? Um, go ahead, tell me. I see we're in Knoxville, Virginia, Florida, we've got Florida, Arizona, North Carolina, Florida, Atlanta. Oh, we got a full house here tonight. All right, good. So let's have some fun. Y'all ready for this? I'm going to tell you how to flip a house with 10 bucks. And I'm going to show you how I made a lot of money from it, too. So this is going to be fun. This is me completely cheesing it up. And that's the look I get <laughs> when I buy a house. Sometimes that's the look I get when I sell a house too, but this is definitely the look I get when I buy a house. All right, I'm gonna cover three secrets that are gonna make or break your real estate investing dreams. I'm also gonna go over three powerful truths that'll help you get started. Like, who wants to go buy a house this weekend? Y'all tell me in the chat box. Anybody wanna go buy something this weekend? Yes. Rhonda wants to, anybody else? Yes, Rebecca wants to, JC says it would be awesome. Donna says, yes, she wants to go buy something. All right, so let's get to it. Let me show you seriously how easy it is to buy houses. You got somebody that wants to sell a house and you got somebody that wants to buy a house. We have two different itineraries. Once you put them together, it's a match made in heaven. So from now on, all we got to do is fine tune it a little bit so that if you want to buy a house, you meet somebody who wants to sell a house. And if you're wanting to sell a house, you meet somebody who wants to buy a house. I mean, it's that easy. All right. And you are in the right place. If you have a job or you're an entrepreneur, or maybe you're even a real estate agent. All right. Most people that come to me have some sort of way to pay their bills and they're usually making good money now good money across the country can be any variety of different things but most people are making good money being you know two thousand a month five thousand a month up to ten thousand dollars a month so anywhere between two thousand five thousand ten thousand dollars that's what we're all making that's pretty good money the thing is when you make two or five or ten thousand dollars a month you're probably spending two or five or ten thousand dollars a month and you don't have to answer this one in the chat box you can just nod your head there and say yeah well, <laughs> that's pretty much what i spend so my question is where does that leave your retirement do you have a retirement have you thought about retirement or is this one of those words that you kind of put your hand in front of your face and you go "Uh oh i don't want to talk about that i'm not nearly as prepared as i want to be Retirement money is dead. I don't care if you've got 100,000, 200,000, or half a million dollars in the bank. When you take that five or ten thousand dollars out of it every month, there isn't anybody to put it back in for you. And if you do that, if you got a hundred thousand dollars and you pull ten thousand out every month in your retirement, you get to be retired for less than a year. Do you really want to be retired for less than a year? No, of course you don't. Nobody wants to be retired for a year and then have to go to back to work. We're not Michael Jordan here. All right. We want to retire. We want to enjoy retirement. We want to use this money, this job that we've had our whole life to cover ourselves in retirement. That's what we want. But having a retirement account isn't going to help you be retired and stay retired. You need living money. And the only way that I know of to get living money is to have a real estate portfolio and to have that money that comes in every month when your tenants pay their rent. All right. And if you need $10,000 a month to retire, then all we got to do is get you enough houses that you're bringing in 10 grand a month and you can retire as soon as you want to. And that's when your real estate dreams come in. 
all right? If you know that there has to be more to life than just going to work and being in that rat race and chugging along and making good enough money and maybe one day thinking about retirement, you're definitely in the right place because you're absolutely right. There is more to life than giving away 40 hours of your life to somebody you don't even really care about every week. You're also in the right place if you're an action taker because I am an action taker and I attract other action takers. I like people that are going to get out there and get it done. They're going to start making great money. They're going to go from job to entrepreneur to retired. I'm going to show you how to flip a house with only $10. All right. How to flip a house with $10. Y'all buckle your seatbelt. This is going to be it. <laughs> That is funny right there. All right. That is a house that somebody has flipped in $10. That's what you were expecting, right? Is that what you're expecting? Tell me in the chat. Is that it? I do want to entertain you a little bit. Okay. So this is how you flip a house with $10. But luckily for you, <laughs> I spent a lot more time on this presentation and I have more slides to come. <laughs> So my goal tonight is to show you really and truly one final time, or maybe it's the first time that I've got to have this talk with you. But I want you to see how easy it is to get started in real estate. You don't need banks. You don't need money. You don't need good credit. And you certainly don't need a real estate license. If you have one, that's fine but don't go out and get one and then expect to be this wonderful investor. That's not how it works. So my goal is to kind of dispel some of those myths, share some secrets and tell you some truths to real estate. And I will give this to you for free. If you stay until the end, this is, I don't even know how many emails I get every single day. Every single day, I get this many emails of people who want to sell houses, they want to sell land. This is the best way to buy houses. What makes me different? The thing that makes me different is I actually do these deals. I actually go out, I talk to sellers. I do the whole kit and caboodle. I'm a one woman show and I can show you how to do that too. I can show you how to be a one man band. I want to actually teach you how to start from nothing or knowing just a little bit of nothing and getting to the closing table. And I think that is what really makes me different. And I actually can flip that house. I know what needs to be done to actually make it sell. I know if it's going to be a lipstick on a pig kind of flip or if it's going to be a total gut job. I can flip a house. I can show you how to flip a house. And this is a house that I did last December. Like I uh, got it on December the 16th. This picture in the bottom with the mustard paint, that was on December 16th when I got the house. This picture up top, that is January 16th. Took the tub out, took the sink out, took all this tile down, we put a new granite vanity in, put a shower tub combo right there behind the door, and look, the window is in the same spot. But isn't this house so much better? I mean, look at this bathroom. Isn't this so much better? Y'all tell me in the chat, can you see how much better this house looks? Don't you want to learn how to flip houses from somebody who actually flips houses? <laughs> it is. It's a world of difference. It's night and day. Check out this next one. This is the basement of this same house. The very same house. And see, these are my guys in here saying, I, I'm over here taking the picture saying, tear those walls down. Those walls got to go. Y'all got to figure out how to get these walls out of here. And they're standing there trying to figure out how to get the walls out. And look. Look at the bottom. I mean, we took this little bitty chopped up basement into this huge, huge extra entertaining space. That's amazing. It's, it's so gorgeous. I absolutely love it. And the final picture to show you how easy it can be to flip a house. This is, again, December 16th when I got the house and January 16th when we were done with it. New floors, new cabinets, new granite, new lights. And this house that we're looking at right now correlates with secret number two. All right. So just 
stick a pin in this one and we'll come back to it. That's me. My name is Whitney Nicely. I have done over 50 creative financing deals in 24 months. My deals are 10, 15, and $20,000 every time I do one, if not more. And I'm going to show you how to get more out of a deal than you ever thought possible. I am a broker. I'm a real estate broker. I'm an auctioneer. I'm a general contractor. You don't need these licenses. I have these licenses. I've been to these schools. I promise I can tell you in about five minutes everything you need to learn from each one of these three schools. This is everything that I've learned, and this is all without using my real estate license. But I want to tell y'all, again, I'm a complete weirdo, and I actually do what I'm teaching you to do. All right, this is not a get rich quick. This is not anything like that. You actually have to do what I'm going to tell you to do to get that money, honey. <laughs> this is Sherry. She put this up just a couple days ago, just highlighting again that you can go to school all you want, but getting out and trying it, you're going to learn 10 times more. All right, here's the secrets. First one, you can make more money in a lease option deal just doing one a month than you can at your job. Y'all agreed with me earlier that you're making somewhere between $2,000, $5,000, and $10,000 a month. That's, that's what everybody kind of agreed to earlier. We're somewhere between $2,000, $5,000, $10,000. The second secret, you don't have to be at these houses when you sell them. Because seriously, who has time to go be at all these houses? And the third secret, Literally, I am not even kidding. You can write a $10 check and buy houses. I did it on my first two creative financing deals. How are you going to make more money in one month doing a lease option deal than at your regular nine to five all month? And this is it. I went out. I, I figured this system out and I went out. I found a seller who wanted to sell their house and they agreed to let me do a lease option on it. So let me really quickly tell you that a lease option, imagine it like this, if you have a house that you don't want anymore, let's say you buy another house down the street and you decide that you're gonna lease out your old house. That's not weird, is it? That's not weird. If you decide that you wanna move on to the, your new house and you wanna sell your old house, that's not weird either. I mean, there's lots of people, we all know people that have had a house that was perfectly fine and they decided that they needed to leave and get into a different house, right? Before they sold the other one. We all know people like that, right? Well, a lease option just puts both of those things together. It says, I'm going to lease my house and this person has the option to purchase it at some later date and time. That's all a lease option is, y'all. It's not that weird. It's not that complicated. You're going to rent a house with the option to purchase it on an agreed upon price in a certain date and time. So I found some people that wanted to sell their house and they wanted to move on. The, the couple that I bought the first house from, they actually had this house as a retirement home and then their daughter came home and she was pregnant and the house wasn't big enough for four people. They sold me the house on a lease option. I agreed to make payments on it. I agreed to buy it. I think I had five years, and this was in the spring of 2014. So by the spring of 2019, I had to buy this house. And my purchase price was exactly what they owed, 122,000. I bought this house for 122,000. I agreed to make their payments for the next five years. And every time I made the payment, the purchase price came down because that's how money works. And y'all, I'll be doggone if I didn't get this house and explain this whole wonderful lease option situation, sweat my brains out trying to make sure these people were going to agree to it. They agreed. The lease option sounded great for them. They wanted somebody to take over their payments and give them exactly what they owed on it. It was perfect. And I found somebody who gave me a cash offer on this house. Can you believe that? I mean, after all this work I did to get this lease option set up, finalized, on paper, stressed out and nervous that they weren't going to agree to it, and really, they loved it. I'm buying it for 122 
and I found somebody with cash money, not a mortgage, not a loan, not anything weird. They're just going to give me money. Y'all got any guesses how much they were going to give me for it? I'll just tell you. 135000 Now, I'm a pal kid, okay? That's North Knoxville, East Tennessee. I can see that's $13,000 that I made because since I had the lease option on this house, I was able to rent it for two months at $1,000 a month because this couple was moving to Dandridge, Tennessee from Chicago, Illinois, and they didn't want to rent a storage unit. They just wanted to put their stuff in the basement until we closed. So I rented the house for two months while they moved down. So that put me right over $15,000 in my very first deal. All right, from the time I spoke to the seller to get this lease option set up to the time we got to closing, I made $15,000 in eight weeks. What did I put down? $10. I put $10. I gave these sellers a contract and a check for $10, but that's secret number three. The $10 is secret number three. These lease options that I'm telling you about, this is where the money is. And they're not weird. They're totally wonderful. It helps the sellers, it helps the buyers, and it's going to help you in the middle. All right? 15 grand, eight weeks after I figured out how to do a lease option. And that's my house. That is a nice looking house, don't you think? That's a regular four sided brick, one car garage, three bedroom, two bath, gravel driveway. Y'all, this thing doesn't even have a concrete driveway in it. And I made $15,000 on this puppy. So let's think as a regular real estate agent. If I had listed that house for $135 and I sold it for a normal 6%, anybody know how much money I would have made? Somebody figure that out for me. Rhonda says that if I put it on the market at $135, if I'd gotten a regular 6%, commission like a regular agent and if I didn't have to split it with anybody I would have made $8,100. I almost doubled that. Doubled it by not using my license. That's some cool shit. <laughs> right? Oh yeah I worked like nothing. I worked like six hours maybe on this thing. I'm telling you the worst part about this house was actually meeting with the sellers to set up the lease option and I'd be doggone if I didn't even need it. All right, secret two, you don't personally have to be present at the property to sell it. Now, this is to sell it. I, I do want you to be present when you're buying it, okay? When you buy a house, I, I do want you to see it before you buy it. But if you're going to sell a house, there is no reason for you to be there. You don't have time to sit at these properties and wait on them to sell. You're too busy to go show houses. You've got kids. You've got a spouse. You've got church. You probably have a regular job right now. You have friends. You have hobbies. You have marathons and crazy stuff like that that you want to do. You have way too much going on in your life to have to show houses. And, y'all, it's boring. Who wants to go sit in a house with no furniture, sometimes with no electricity, no water? That's no potty breaks. Hello? Who wants to do that? When you have these houses and you're doing these open houses, you're just wasting your time. When you could be doing something more productive on a Sunday afternoon, like taking a nap. And I'm going to prove it. You do not have to be at a house to sell it. This is me today. That's the outfit that I wore today. While I was getting my nails done, somebody went to my bank in Jefferson City, at the Food City in Jefferson City, and they put $15,000 in my account. Where was I? I was at the nail salon in Rome, Georgia. I was three hours away from the house I sold today. And let me tell you what's cool about this, okay? When I did that first lease option deal and I had that cash buyer and I made 15,000 because I got 13,000 on the spread and I got $2,000 on rent every month, that was cool because it was 15 grand in eight weeks. I made $15,000 today and that's just the tip of the iceberg because now I don't sell these houses like I used to. Okay, this is how it evolves over the last, well, three years now. I'm selling this house for $139,000.
they gave me 15,000 a day. Only 10,000 of it will go towards their purchase price. So these people still owe me $129,000. I get to keep 5,000 as an option fee. Anybody that moves into any of my houses, I get the first 5,000. And I don't let them move in for less than 10 or 15 or 20,000, depending on how expensive the house is. This house takes $5,000 to move in. It's non-refundable. It does not go towards the purchase price. It doesn't count towards anything except getting into my lease option houses. The other 10,000 that they gave me today is also non-refundable. Okay. But remember, I'm doing a lease option. Lease options are amazing because I will get paid three different ways on this house. I made $15,000 up front. I gave them $10,000 towards their purchase price, which brings this house down to one twenty nine. dollars I only owe $100,000 on this house. My payments are like eight fifty dollars a month and they're gonna pay me $1,200 a month on this house. So for the next two years, I'm gonna make, what's the difference between $1,200 and $850? It's like $350, right? So for the next 24 months, somebody multiply 350 times 24 months. How much is that? I haven't even done this math. Cher says it's $8,400. So I got $15,000 today. I'm going to get $8,400 because I'm going to collect an extra $350 every month for the next 24 months. And then I'm going to get $30,000 when these people get a mortgage. So what's $15,000, $8,400, and $30,000? $15,000 and $30,000. There's $45,000. And then $84,000. Is that $53,000? I'm going to make $53,000 on a $100,000 house. I bought this house for a hundred grand. And by the time it's all said and done with, I'm going to get $53,000 from it. Is anybody excited about lease options? I mean, anybody? <laughs> Bueller, Bueller. On my very first deal, I made $15,000. Today, I made $15,000. And it was just the tip of the iceberg. It was just the tip of the iceberg, y'all. I'm going to get $15,000 today already in my account, not even there. Haven't even met this guy. And he put $15,000 in my account today. Lease options are amazing, absolutely amazing, totally amazing. They're going to work where you are. I've had people give me $40,000 as a non-refundable option fee before and then leave six months later. $40,000 and leave six months later and leave that money. Then I got to sell the house again. <laughs> All right, you ready for secret number three? This is the one you've been waiting on. On the first house that I showed you, I met that couple at their house after work because when I started doing lease options, I had a regular nine to five job. I made $2,000 a month before I quit and got into real estate full time. So if you're at 2000 a month, I've been there. I went from 2000 to 15000 real fast <laughs> and figured out that I liked real estate a lot more than trucking. But it only took a $10 check to secure the deal because when you do a lease option, you have to have some money invested to be able to claim ownership. Did you hear what I said? You have to have some money involved in order to claim ownership. It doesn't say, the rules don't say, the laws don't say that you need 20% down to claim ownership of this property. It doesn't say that you need $20,000. You don't need $100,000 in your account. You don't need a million dollars. It says you need some money involved to claim ownership. It does not say when you put that money down. It does not say how you get that money. It does not say, where you need to put that money. It just says that you need to have some money involved. Some money to me at the time was $10. So this is the second house that I bought when I started creative financing, when I started doing lease options. This is the second house I bought. Now, is this very impressive to you? Anybody really super blown away by the second house I bought? No, I buy regular houses in regular neighborhoods with regular people, okay? This is 
perfect for a lease option. I found this house on Facebook because I'm a loud mouth. <laughs> If y'all been friends with me for any amount of time, you know, I like to talk and I started saying I buy houses. I'm looking for houses. I want to buy houses. All the things that I teach you in my program, I teach you those because I actually did that. I figured out what worked and then I started to show you how it's done. It's so easy to get leads off Facebook. Al, are you still in here? Tell me how easy it is to go get leads off Facebook. I wish Gwen was in here right now, but she's in Ecuador. She, Gwen did one of my Facebook posts in a mom's group, and in 30 minutes, she had six leads on houses. Six houses that she needed to go look at that, that weekend because she put one of my posts up in a mom's group on Facebook. Listen, I'm telling you, this Facebook stuff, it's catching on. <laughs> and I'm not talking about ads. I'm just talking about saying, hey, y'all, this is what I'm looking for. Send it to me. All right. So that's what happened on this house. I said, I'm looking for houses. And one of my sorority sisters that I hadn't spoken to in probably seven years, we were friends on Facebook. And she said, hey, Whit, I've got a house. We're moving to a different house on a different side of town and we're ready to close and move to the next house. I need somebody to buy this house pretty quickly. So I said, that's good because I buy houses pretty quickly. So I bought her house. I gave her a $10 check that night while I was there. I had the paperwork that I used for lease options with me. I signed it. I went over everything with her. I told her that I was going to be making her monthly payments on it. I would give her what she owed on it and everything was going to be hunky dory. And she was thrilled because she didn't have any idea what she was going to do with this house. She didn't want to list it. She needed it gone and she needed it gone fast. She needed a really fast solution. And that's what I offered. This little house, this house right here, three bedroom, one bath, regular ranch house, no basement. Guess how much I made on this little guy? Was it 3000 Ooh, was it 5000 Did I make 7000 Remember, this is my second house. The second house I ever bought with lease options. I made $8,000. It took me eight weeks to make $15,000. And then three weeks later, I also had this deal going on and I made $8,000 on the second house. That's pretty cool. Like, I don't know how many of you are making $8,000 and not having to split that with anybody and working like three hours to get $8,000. So if you put it all together, even with my Tennessee math, I made just over twenty-three grand in the first 12 weeks of doing lease options. I put a $10 check down on two different houses, so I had $20 at risk, and I turned it into $23,000. Can I get a round of applause? <laughs> Let's see in the comments. Let's see you clapping. <laughs> Anybody want to go do lease options now? <laughs> All right, let's recap just real quick. I found a seller. I bought the house with a $10 check. I found a buyer on both of these houses pretty quickly. I sold both houses. On the first one, I made 15 grand, and on the second one, I made $8,000. That is so cool, right? But this whole time that I've been telling you about flipping houses, and flipping houses with a $10 check, I didn't ever mention anything about physical labor. I mean, y'all saw me getting my nails done. Does it look like I got sweat equity in this deal? Have I told you about all the material runs to Lowe's and Home Depot that I've done? Did I tell you about the haggling or the stressing? No, <laughs> because it's all good in lease options. It's all good. You find people that have houses they don't want, you tell them that you can take over their payments or you can start making them payments, that you'll give them pretty darn close to full asking price. I mean, what could be wrong here? There's no haggling, there's no stressing, there's no anxiety. We help people with lease options. That's what we do. Okay, so for the past little bit, would you agree, would you agree that it's been time well spent so far? I mean, y'all tell me. What do you think? How many of you love lease options now? 
And clearly I can't cover everything. Like I can't cover the buyers. I can't cover the negotiation. I can't cover everything. I can't get into the full system of how I get these leads. I can't get into everything. <laughs> JC says he's heard of lease options, but not the way that I use them. <laughs> I hope I'm using them in a better way than what you've heard of. He says it's been incredibly helpful. Good. So if you'll stay with me, I've got a special offer. If you want to know the entire system that I do to get these lease options, and if you act fast, I'll give you even like incredible deal. Like I can't wait to show you what all I'm going to give you here tonight for being with me only on this webinar. And if you've talked to me on the phone, this is different. I spoke to Tori, and I spoke to Cheryl. I spoke to Cheryl earlier this week. And when I was on the phone with y'all, oh, Rebecca, I spoke to Rebecca earlier this week too. So if I've spoken to you on the phone, this is a different deal than when I offered you on the phone. This deal has never been seen before. This is brand new. Um, Tanya is on. Tanya helped me come up with this yesterday. And this is cool. I know y'all got disposable income and you're usually, I don't usually talk a lot about disposable income because I like to talk about residual income. Disposable income is, disposable income pays for things like this. Anybody got a Louis Vuitton bag? Yeah, you got Michael Kors, you got Tory Burch, you got Coach, you got all that stuff. Or how many of you like to go to ball games? How many of you like to travel? How many of you like to play video games or buy the kids stuff or take them to these events or do stuff like that? This is what you buy with your disposable income. But how cool would it be if you could buy this stuff with your residual income, with that $10,000 a month that you're making off your rental income? That's where you should buy the fluff stuff, the money that comes in without you having to go work for it. Because when you gotta go work for that money, it's not nearly as much fun to spend it as when it just pops into your account every month by the fifth, like clockwork. Now I know y'all got some old habits and I know they die hard, especially if you're a real estate agent, especially if you've been doing wholesaling or you've been doing regular real estate investing, it's really hard to break those old habits. It's really hard to see that other people are out there and they're making fast money. But let me just remind you one last time that lease options are not old, they're not boring, and they're not a slow way of getting ahead in life or in real estate. Lease options are amazing. And the sooner you get that in your head, the sooner you start taking action on lease options, you're going to be thrilled. You're going to be thrilled. Whether you're making $2,000, $5,000, or $10,000 a month right now, what's it going to feel like when you start adding that extra money in? And I'm going to let you get started today. You can get started tonight. I'll be up as long as y'all want me to. Okay? Get started. Do these lease options. I'm telling y'all, this is, this is the way of getting ahead in real estate in today's market. It's not 20% down and it's not going to the bank and it's not talking to a mortgage broker and it's certainly not going to get a real estate license. It's lease options. So let me tell you what you're gonna get. If you stay with me and you get this tonight, you're gonna get the quick start to real estate investing. All right? This is everything that you need to know but you won't learn at regular real estate school. You're gonna learn how to make more money as an investor with automation and get your life back. I mean, holy cow, y'all, that's at least worth th three grand, don't you think? You're gonna get into my private Facebook group and get the support and the guidance you need. And as you can see, a lot of these people that are in the chat with us tonight, they're in my private Facebook group. They're already working on these leads. They're working on these deals. They're already convinced that lease options are the way to go and they're working every week to get these done. They're in that private Facebook group. So this total value, everything you're gonna get is just shy of $9,000, but I'm not asking you for $9,000, okay? So just chill out. Let's talk about who this has worked for. 
you can see people in the chat. It's worked for them. It's also worked for a new father who's on paternity leave and he doesn't want to have to go back to his cubicle. All right. He doesn't want to. He wants to put lease options into work and get his $10,000 a month. This has worked for a small town CPA with no savings, working client to client, check to check, but she desperately wants to retire safely before she hits 50. Who else wants to retire safely? Who wants to know that they have a free flowing river of money coming into their account every month? so they can retire before they turn 50 or when they turn 50. I mean, who wants to wait until they're 65 to retire? And it has also worked for regular real estate agents because a lot of agents go to real estate school to, and they think that they're gonna learn how to become an investor. I got some agents in the chat right now. Did y'all learn how to become an investor when you went to real estate school, regular real estate school? Let me clarify. Nope, nope, hell no, nope, no ma'am. No, we did not learn how to be an investor at real estate school. I don't know why people think if they go to real estate school, they're gonna come out and know how to be an investor. You're not going to. The only way to get the lazy landlord lifestyle is to become an investor, to put these lease options into place. Eight weeks from now, you could be buying a house. You could be at the closing table getting a $15,000 check. When I was putting this together yesterday, really, I had two options. I could go as cheap as possible. I could sell it like an ebook and make it, you know, practically free. But it really wouldn't, you know, benefit anybody if I just gave you the base layer information. Or I could go as a higher investment, but in exchange, I'm going to give you everything I know instead of holding stuff back behind the curtain. Doesn't do me any good to withhold information. So that's what I wanna give you, is everything that I know so that you have all the resources you need to hit your successful peak in real estate investing. Okay, this is a testimonial from Gwen, and let me just read it to you really quick. I've always had a dream to buy houses and help families that cannot get loans to buy a house. I thought I needed a lot more money for this, but you are blowing my mind right now with all these videos. Now I see that I don't need money, I just need skills. This is from a lady that joined us at the um, end of the month last month. And she was the lady that put a post up in a Facebook group and had six leads in 30 minutes. She went and looked at six houses from one post. So if you're having trouble getting leads, I got a solution for that. Y'all tell me, who wants an extra 10 grand a month? Because I'm gonna give you as your first bonus a roadmap to $10,000 months. I will work with you one-on-one -on -one to figure out what you're gonna need to do to hit that $10,000 a month, all right? That's a $2,000 value, but I'm only gonna give it to the first 30 people. Uh, here's a testimonial from Stephanie. She's in North Carolina. Stephanie said, I had a house listed for three months with a local agent. What happened? Nothing. Crickets. I spoke to Whitney for 10 minutes Sunday night on a strategy call. By Wednesday, three days later, I had two buyers fighting with each other over who would get the house. Whitney's system works. All right, if you get in tonight, I'm also going to give you the seller scripts. That way, you're going to sound like an expert. You're going to sound like an investor. You're going to sound like you have a clue what's going on the very first time you start calling sellers. And I know when I started, I was asking the wrong questions at the wrong time, and it was awful, and it was embarrassing, and it was nerve-wracking, and it doesn't have to be that way. When you get these scripts and you know what to ask and when to ask it and how to ask it, it makes getting the information from the sellers 10 times easier. And I've got that as a free bonus, $1,000 value for the first 20 people that sign up. All right, so since I added in those last two bonuses, the roadmap to $10,000 a month and the seller scripts, we're up to almost $12,000 in value. This is getting this is getting good, don't you think? $12,000 in value. So think about it. If all this did was finally make your retirement dreams possible, would it be worth it? 
would it be worth it if I was able to finally give you the kick in the butt that you need to get moving and to start taking some action and to start making some offers? Because it's real easy to sit back and watch the free webinars and it's real easy to sit back and say, oh yeah, one day. I mean, how much is one deal worth to you? If you got one house, and you were able to make an extra 5,000, 10,000, 25,000 or more. I mean, I showed y'all how I made 15,000 on my first deal. I made 8,000 on the next one. And now I'm averaging, what do we say, like 53,000 per house? How many houses do you need to make 50, 53,000? How much would you pay to get one motivated seller per month? And I want to work with motivated sellers every week, every day. I showed y'all how I'm getting an email box full of leads every single day. You can tell why people are joining, why people are paying me. All right, so if you're to buy one house a month with no money down, with nobody checking your credit, no nosy bankers all up in your business, and no real estate license, how many could you buy every month before you went broke? And if you're making five, 10, 20, $50,000, how long would it take until you could quit your boring job? I mean, seriously, if you're not putting any money down, there's no limit on how many houses you can buy. And if you're making five, 10, 15, $50,000 every time you buy a house, how fast will you quit that boring job? Because you can see that the real money is in real estate and lease options. So I showed you that I think we're up to like $12,000. What if I sold you this package for 5,000? Because that's what I'm gonna sell it for to the general public. But because you're with me tonight and you're on this webinar and you hung out with me and you stayed with me, I'm gonna make you a special offer. All right, this is it. $24.97 if you buy it today. Like if you go right now, open up your browser, open up another, and go to imin.whitneynicely.com. It's $24.97 and it's only going to be $24.97 for tonight. And if you talk to me this week, if you talk to me last week, even if you talk to me next week, you're not going to see this deal again. This is only for this webinar tonight. And yes, I will teach you how to sell the properties too. Absolutely. It's going to be mostly heavily centered on sellers because you need sellers. You need a house before you can sell it, right? But yes, I will teach you how to collect buyers, how to collect qualified buyers, and how to get as much money as you can get out of those buyers. Absolutely. Go to imin.whittynicely.com right now. When you get there, when you go to imin.whitneynicely.com, you'll see there's only one option. You gotta put in your contact information. So you gotta put in your email. And actually, this is something new. This is what makes this completely new that you've never seen before. I need your physical address because I have something to mail you. You're gonna get it for free. I didn't even list that for free in this, but I've got something to send you in the mail that you're gonna love, that's gonna make going through this course super duper easy, super duper fun, and you're gonna get the results twice as fast. So yes, I do need your physical address when you get to that website. And this is a screenshot of what the website looks like. And this is over here on the right, this is everything that you're gonna get when you get into this package. I'm covering a lot of stuff. He says, so maybe he's a little slow to put himself out there on social media, but he did post, like I told him to, in one of the Facebook groups, and in 10 hours, he had, what, five people, four property leads, a general contractor, and four buyers. All of this for free. Oh, now he's in the chat and says it definitely works. Absolutely, it does. All of this for free. Like, when you get into the program, this is the course. This is the plan. This is how you're going to get to it. Go to imin.whitneynicely.com. And y'all remember that the most successful people are decisive people. They get out there, they know what they're doing, and they make a decision, and they make it, and they go with it, and they never look back. And that's what you're going to do. When you start doing these lease options, you're never going to be able to look back onto regular real estate and say, oh, yeah, 
I think I'll do that. No, you're not going to be able to do it because you're going to be so excited about lease options and getting them done. And you're going to be so wrapped up in that process and that system that you're not going to be able to turn back. All right. If you're still sitting on the fence, I had two options and now you have two choices to make. You could do nothing and you could not take this leap of faith. That's, you know, your choice. Or you could pony up this small investment today. And I mean, compared to all the value that I'm going to give you, give it a shot. This is an amazing opportunity that you're not going to see again. Lease options are the most fun way to buy and sell houses. Let me tell you that other business opportunities are basically going to create you another job. But with this, you're going to get in control of your income, your time with your friends and your family, and your legacy for your kids. You're going to actually enjoy your retirement. You're actually going to enjoy hanging out. You're going to enjoy your vacations a lot more, knowing that you're not just missing time from work and, oh, all, all that stuff you got to catch up on when you get back. Oh, no. No. This is setting you up for a lifetime of living. All right. Now, here's a tale of two people. You could be like this lady on the left. To me, it looks like real estate is a headache for her. Like she wakes up on Monday morning and she is dreading to go to her job. Real estate is just another list of problems that she has on and on and she doesn't enjoy it. Or you could be like Chip over there on the right. Chip is also in my program. And Chip has the stance. It's not complicated stuff, guys. Real estate isn't complicated. Real estate investing isn't complicated. Making these offers isn't complicated. None of it is complicated, but you have to do it. And the first step to getting it done is going to imin.whitneynicely.com. She says, so I went to look at a house this morning and it was a lease purchase. And she said it was literally like walking into one of Whitney's videos. I got there a few minutes early and a half a second later, they were at the door waving me in. She said they went through the house, went over everything that she could offer them. These sellers are totally in and extremely thankful. These people are thankful that she took the time to come over and meet with them. These are the kind of things that we share inside the private Facebook group. Like this is good stuff here. This is the stuff that you need to be involved in, that you want to be involved in, and inside the rock stars, the REI rock stars. So again, this is everything that you're going to get. $12,000, the quick start to real estate, the make more money as an investor, the private Facebook group. You're getting my program, the core course, three simple strategies to buy houses. You're getting the bonus roadmap to $10,000 months. And that's one thing that you and I'll do together on the phone. And you're going to get my seller scripts. Guys, $12,000 of value that I'm giving away tonight for $24.97. So if you didn't sign up immediately, I'm sure it's because of fear. Fear of what? Fear that you're going to be too successful. Fear that you're going to really be prepared and know what to do when you go out. Or is it time? You're afraid you don't have enough time to learn it. You're afraid you don't have enough time to go out and make these offers. How else are you going to get to $10,000 a month in your retirement if you don't put just a little bit of time into it right now? Your job's not going to do that for you. Is it the money? Because I've showed you three different houses, four different houses, where I made $8,000, $15,000, 20000 and 53000 So it's not the money. Again, though, I'm nothing special. I was a trucker. I made $2,000 a month. I'm not particularly good at Facebook ads. Like, I cannot figure out a pixel to save my life. All right? And you don't need Facebook ads. You don't need to pay Mark Zuckerberg so you can go find houses. I don't rebuild walls. Now, I can stand there and tell people that they need to tear a wall down, but I don't, I don't build walls. I don't swing hammers. I don't write legal documents. Okay. I'm not an attorney. I have an attorney that's going to do everything for you. All you got to do is go meet with the seller and get the deal tied up. Otherwise the attorney is going to do the legal stuff. I buy houses. Okay. I find people that want to sell their house. I find people that want to buy a house. I put them together. 
I am a real estate matchmaker and I can teach you how to buy as many houses as you want every single week. All right, if you're still waiting, still trying to decide if you really want to get in on this or not, for the first 10 people, 10 people, seriously, like 10, like if you're number 11, you're not getting this. I'm going to give you a 30-minute private strategy session with me. We can do it Saturday if you want to, all right? We can do it next week, whenever it's convenient for you. This is going to be in addition to your roadmap to $10,000 months. This is 30 minutes with me to see how far we can get you to go with these lease options. Also, the first 10 people, they're getting 30 minutes with me on a strategy session. And remember when I showed you how to get all those deals in your email? I'm going to give you that for free too. <laughs> for free, leads, deals, sellers, everything just coming in hot and ready. I'm going to let this go for just a couple minutes. All right, I don't know if we'll make it all the way through five minutes or not, but you have two choices. You can work until you die, or you can decide right now that you're gonna retire, you're gonna retire early, and you're gonna retire happy. That's it. Those are, those are your only two choices, really. You're either gonna work until you die, you're gonna work until you find some prince that's gonna pay for everything for you, or you're gonna get it figured out. You're going to get into lease options. You're going to get into everything that you've ever wanted because it's possible. It's totally possible. I went from $2,000 a month to $15,000 and then $8,000 and I haven't looked back. I haven't. There's no reason to. All you got to do is go to imin.whitneynicely.com. That's it. We'll get you started. We're going to get you in the program. I think as soon as you go, you put in all your information, you put in your credit card. The next page, I think, takes you to the program. Has anybody got it? Has anybody uh, been through the funnel over there on imin.whitneynicely.com? The next page is the program. That's it. If you want in, if you want to do more, if you want to be in the group, if you want the weekly group calls, we can talk about that later, but I'm only going to talk about that if you get in to the program right now, today. Sherry says that she's got to run. You guys, <laughs> she says that I'm down to earth. I'm the real McCoy. You're not going to regret getting these tools, and it's something that, it is not something that goes away. This is a purchase for a lifetime. She's the best. Thanks, Sherry. I appreciate that. And Al says that maybe excuse number five is that you're allergic to monthly income. <laughs> Y'all, these are people that are with me all day, every day. They listen to me on our calls every week. A lot of them have private VIP calls with me every week. This is something that you don't want to miss out on. Like, you're not going to be able to go and get this just anywhere. This is only available right here and right now while we're on this webinar. And I've stopped my clock. So does anybody have any questions? Anybody have anything else they want to cover? This is it. All you got to do is go to imin.whitneynicely.com. Get started now. Like now, now. I'm in .com. Tanya says that it is so awesome. Do I have a lease option contract from the attorney prior to meeting a seller? I have in the program, I give you two different samples that you can use. One is a one pager and one is a two pager. You can use that with your seller. It gets all the nuts and bolts right out front so that you can get a good lease option contract going and then you turn that into your attorney to get the final one. I'll tell you another story. Um, while the last couple people, I'm going to give you just a couple more minutes to go to imin.whitneynicely.com. I was trucking, still trucking, and because it took me a couple months before I actually left trucking, and a guy called me. I had a bandit sign out. A guy called me and he said, hey, 
you buy houses? And I said, yeah. He said, good. I got one. I want to sell you. And I said, okay, well, where is it? How much do you want? He said, no, 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 no. Where's your office? And I, I told him where my office was. And he said, I'll be there in 10 minutes. And I said, okay. So this guy showed up and said, basically, here's my keys. What do I need to sign? I don't want this house. I don't want to haggle over it. I don't want to think about it today, tomorrow, or next week. Whatever it is you got to do, give me the paper. I'll sign it. <laughs> and I bought a house right there. I told him that, you know, I wanted to go look at it, make sure it was still standing. He said, it's still standing. I'm leaving, though. You can do whatever you want to with it. That's how we're going to buy houses from people who don't want to deal with it anymore. Real estate is really not complicated. All the steps, all the systems, all the programs, everything that you're going to need, it's out there. You just got to get to it. And this is the first step. I'm in .whitneynicely.com. Anybody else have any questions? I'm going to shut her down. Everybody in? If you've bought the package tonight, I'll, as soon as I get off here, I'll check to see who bought it and I'll be in contact with you to make sure that you get signed in, to make sure that you can see everything, to make sure that everything's working for you. Whoever wants in tonight gets in tonight and can get started tonight. Absolutely. All right. Well, this is Whitney Nicely. I've had a great time. If you have any questions, you can email me, info at WhitneyNicely.com, and I hope that I see you on the other side. Let me know if you need anything, and happy investing.